I'm here at CMS Setcourt in Colville in Leicestershire. I'm standing uh, below ground level, really, in this factory, in this pit, where two, uh, not one, but two Honosiki vertical lathes are being installed. Now, I'm with Carl Marshall uh, from DTS. Carl, you've been involved in this installation since the start. You're an employee of DTS. How long does it take to put two VTLs like this in here? Uh, with all the alignments and everything as well, it's probably going to take us around four to five weeks. Okay, now do you get involved in the civils here, you know, the creation of this sunken area, or is that done by CMS Setcore? That will be done by a separate civil company, yeah. Right, okay, so you will what, bring the machines in from, uh, that have been shipped from overseas, and you will, uh, in, you know, build them from start to finish, really, because it's a big machine. Correct, we'll, we'll um, un unload them off the um, lorries, and then we'll organise to bring them in. We'll then take them up out of the crating, bring them in, and then slowly assemble the machines. Yep. So one machine like this, how long is it taken to get to where we are on that That's, one? To get it from the box to here, out of the crates, for about a week and a half. Right, and then from that position to this one that's behind you, which is essentially almost finished now, what yep. are you talking? We've then got, once it's got to that position, and we've got power on, we've then got all the alignments to do, uh, or the level of the machine, get that uh, passed off with the customer before we start putting the guards on. The guards then will about, take about a week. Okay, what, what's the most difficult aspect of all of this? Is it the, the bits you've just touched on? Because putting a machine in here, getting it in position, sighted, sounds pretty straightforward, but it's making sure that it's going to do what it says it's on the make, tin. It's making sure that the alignments of the machine mechanics are correct, uh, as well as the electronics as well. And if those things weren't, if they didn't have your expe expertise on them, what's the potential uh, ramifications of that when they're machining if you don't address those issues during the installation? The, the components won't come off correct. They'll, they'll have problems machining parts. Uh, and maybe the longevity of the machine too. Yeah, there is that, but it's mainly down to, to achieving the tolerances that they expect. And so how many guys are on this project now then here? I mean, we're in the middle of a, uh, a pandemic, which we're coming out, uh, coming out from, but it must have been quite tough to coordinate all of this during this We've time. We've had maximum of three people on site at any one time, but generally it's two people. So two people, two to three people for four, for four weeks to get this right. Yeah. Um, DTS is a company, you pride yourselves on the machines that you sell, which we see here as well as the Courier and uh, amongst others. But how much of the business is uh, where it is today as a result of successful installations like this? Because you've already got one Honor Seeky in here and now two. Is it a big part of the company? It is, it is, it is a big part. Any, any installation is a big part of the company. Because if you do a good um, job of the installation, customer's happy, um, the product's good, they'll come back again. Uh, you've, you've installed quite a few of these Honor machines now. When you go back to see them as a service engineer, which hopefully is infrequently, yeah. how well do they perform? What's your opinion of them? They're still performing as they should. There are little tiny niggles that you get with every machine, um, but providing the customer also do them regular maintenance checks, day-to-day -day PMs, the machines look after themselves then. Brilliant, thank you very yeah. much, Carl. Now this installation, as I mentioned, is uh, there's, there's two going in here, but there's also a third machine which was installed some years ago. They machine crushing equipment for the for the mining industry and the quarries. So some of the parts that are going through here are up to two tons in weights, very very hard, difficult materials. And these Honor machines, as a result of their side lock uh, side lock mounts, they give them the rigidity that they need not only to turn but to mill and drill as well. Uh, and as a result of the success of the first installation, that's why they've got another two here uh, at CMS, etc.